Hello, friends. Journey of the Gods. Exclusively on Oculus Rift, Oculus Rift S, and Oculus Quest. I'm, of course, playing on my Oculus Rift S. Yeah, I have a quest. But my Oculus Rift S is my favorite right now. Maybe it'll be different tomorrow, but today I'm loving my S, so... This is what we're going to use to play this game. I have not played it yet on the quest. This is my absolute first time in this game. And I'm going to bring you friends along with me. So, uh, menu screen impressions has a very Windlands 2 feel to it, as I expected it would. Low texture graphics, uh, as is expected for a game that was developed for Oculus Quest. So. Uh, multiple save slots, that's a good sign. So uh, let's check it out, shall we? If you're unsure about a puzzle, check your bracelet. It might give you a hint. I don't want hints. I'm the type that'll stick with a puzzle for a week. Unless I just feel like it's Unfair. A millennium of peace and prosperity has passed since the last coming of the darkness. Most have forgotten the time when the moon tried to swallow the sun. But the holy man remembered a hero must rise against the chosen of the void. Or chaos will reign under everlasting night. The fate of all who dwell in the land is in your hands. So let the spirits of the air aid your ascent to victory. For you are the champion eternal. I am the champion eternal. Okay. So it's like... Uh... So it very much feels like you're in one of these um, interactive short films, one of these cartoonish deals that are free and last about five minutes that we just uh, we just had a as a discussion topic on a recent video on the Virtual Strangers channel. Check it out if you haven't already. But that's what this feels like. It's very colorful, very cartoony, uh, very cool looking. But uh, let's walk up here so this controller will disappear. Ah, me sword. Don't mind if I do. Duda. Where's your face, Duda? That's a big dude. All right, so we need to chop this thing. Oh, feels nice. Where'd my sword go? Oh, nice sound effects. Hey, lady. Is that for me? Oh, other hand. Datsu. Man, these are some low texture graphics. No surprises. I mean, we fully expected it. But I imagine this has to look fairly similar. Very similar on the... Uh... Oh, it asked me which hand I wanted to be my bow hand. I assumed that it was asking me... I uh... thought it was talking about a normal bow. Let's see if we can change this. Bow hand. Right. 
Okay, resume. Aha! Now. Oh, that feels nice. Nice. It must have auto aim, it's too perfect. That felt good. Too good. This is a belief orb. Its energy is needed to enter your higher form, your god form. Reach toward the orb now. Grip to pull it to you. Nice. As you collect belief the feather on your wrist will glow and fill with its power so that's pretty cool you have god abilities but they're powered by belief faith this is not a uh, a new concept belief can also be released from crystals like these generally it takes a conscious being to uh to emit belief. I don't believe that crystals, well, I don't know. Crystals are a weird thing. Maybe they do have belief. All right. Switch weapons by pressing the A button. Break the crystals and collect the belief. Is this how you collect belief? By destroying things with weapons? And that crossbow feels good. Well, the auto aim isn't 100% foolproof. You do have to try a little bit. I see another little bit of belief over there trying to elude me there it goes now my feather is full oh wow occasionally in the ruins you can find some ancient tools left by our ancestors this is a stone golem step on the trigger plate to possess it for a short time it's good for smashing things. So you can possess a stone golem. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. Awesome. God shrine. These were built by the ancients to protect the gods. Only the chosen can open the shrines and reveal the egg inside. This is a great opportunity to test your worthiness. Step into the circle, there's nothing to fear. Welcome to the world, young hatchling. I've been waiting a long time to meet you. And I bring a gift to help you on the road ahead. Take a look at your bracelet and you'll now see a green feather. The feather contains the ability to grow and shrink trees. Enter your god form and I will show you. So how do we do that? By squeezing both triggers. Awesome. Interact with more objects. So yeah, so now you're gigantic and the world is tiny. Yes, I do. Reach down and pull it upwards. Watch it grow into a mighty tree at your command. Nice. 
Troops can be used as cover to hide behind or block enemy movement. You can also shrink the trees. Nice. I know you will use this gift wisely, hatchling. Fare you well on the road ahead. A farmer who protects another shrine is being attacked by moon beasts. Hurry through the door, you must save him. So I gotta say, I'm, I'm digging this vibe here. Very Breath of the Wild. Would I like a little more texture on the graphics? Sure, but what they have here works for what this is. Looks very cool. It, it seems very Nintendo, honestly. It seems really Nintendo, like Wii era, Switch era Nintendo. Not old Nintendo, but newer Nintendo. I mean, the Nintendo games don't have voice acting either. This very much seems like uh, what I imagine a Nintendo VR game would be like. Anyway, let's not uh, waste any more time here. Let's go save this farmer. It's best to use all of your special ammo before picking up another pile. All right, well, here we are. So I assume, where are my weapons? There they are. So I assume I can switch and use my crossbow as much as I want, right? And it's not auto-aiming anymore, which is cool. I could use the practice anyway. Shoot straight enough. Nice sound effects. Let's look around here. Explore this place a little bit before we move on. You can climb the steps of this pyramid. That's pretty cool. Now here's where the uh, graphics hurt it a little bit. I don't really want to explore as much because in a normal VR game I would be exploring and even if I didn't find any items just the view would be enough you know and this it's like made out of construction paper don't get me wrong the beaten path looks great but you want to stay on the beaten path life fountain it's a spawn point remaining life so can you get game over huh novel idea not very many games let you get game over anymore can i shoot that owl i see a new sword What, can you just pick stuff up here, I guess? Sword fragment. Take three of these to the blacksmith to upgrade your swords. Okay, so that's just a fragment. Look like a whole sword to me, but... But you collect those for upgrades. Cool. So I wonder if there are any hidden items in this game. Or is everything on the uh, straight and narrow? I like to explore and look for things. Nice, the movement and turn speed are good, which I was hoping because there were, there were no options uh, for turn speed. 
guess I need to aim, huh? My feather nearly full already. I'm sure it's gonna make me use it soon. life meter somewhere that I'm not realizing here anything hiding up here just some grass ah there's a bird hey bird come here I want to shoot it already. I found a duck pig. Take a set to the farmer to increase your belief. Awesome. Can I shoot the duck pig? And by the way, duck pig sounds delicious. I like it. I like this world. See, with Windlands too, I felt like it was lacking. Like I wanted more. I didn't feel like they did well enough with it. But this, this is nice. But it's not any more. I don't know. There's no more texture. It's just they did more with it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm. I've got that feeling that you get in VR with like. Like you're really here. Right, another save point. Same spot every time. So we get a little closer. Don't be shy. What is this in this tree here? Can't shoot it. Found a magic egg. Take it to the bird keeper to hatch it. Okay. I need to know where all these people are that it keeps telling me to go to. Wonder what's back in this little cove here. Nothing. Can't get back there. Oh well, at least I have my magic egg. Long distance. I don't think fire's pretty good. Still firing right though. Always fire right, so let's aim left. Almost got it that time. Sounds like water. Gotcha, fool.
I'm going to feel for this crossbow in a minute. And I'm going to dig it even more. I just know it. Because it feels good already. Oh, wow. Nice view. Oh, I thought I got it that time. Got it that time. I told you. I told you I'm going to get a feel for this stuff. Can I reach them from here? I don't think so. No. I got to go down there and get those. so close and not hit it oh do those blue things disappear if you don't pick them up fast enough thought I saw one disappear I see Mia Emini die bastard found a dead body take it to the undertaker to find out what it has in its pockets oh, he's coming am I supposed to be scared of something where you at fool yeah, those things disappear, the belief. I mean, do I need any more of it anyway? My thing's full. Does it even matter at this point? What is that? Moon ammo. This makes your shots home in on enemies. Is there a way to switch ammo? I guess I need to not waste my crossbow on rocks anymore, huh? Alright, how do I get up there? I gotta drop down. Go ahead and hit this save point first. We'll run back up there and get that, whatever it is. Looks like a shield fragment. Nice. Too bad you can't throw swords like uh, Zelda. All right, so we just have to walk off the edge, I guess. And that's where we're going, that beautiful little area down there. And so far, so good. I'm digging it. What I like for this game to... Uh, have more textured graphics? Sure. Do I feel like it's necessary? No. Alright, where did it go? There it is, over here. Shield fragment. Oh, 
Alright. We miss anything? Let's try walking into the waterfall. Zelda style. You never know, there might be a fairy or something living in this thing. A water nymph. Nothing. This is no Zelda game. Slow moving through the water. Okay, there we go. Come out, frog. Come and meet your fate. It's a bright looking tree. Oh. Oh, you little bastard. What is this? I don't even know what that was. Is it belief? So does it benefit me at all? to collect these belief things when my feathers are already full? Or would I be better off just leaving them here and coming back for them when I need them? I just like breaking things. Can I get up there? There is no jump button. Hey, crossbow fragment. What is this? Special ammo? Crystal ammo. Makes shots pierce your targets. So now I don't have both, right? I've only got the crystal one now. And when it's gone, I guess the game must not be too stingy with the ammo. Need to use one of your powers for something nearby. Grip with both hands to enter God form. Yes, I remember from the tutorial. All right, we gotta shrink this tree so we can get around it, right? Okay, so let's do that. Everything's so dark when you're God. All right. Is my feather going down yet, or is it just when I interact with things? Went down a little bit, didn't it? Not much. Ooh, God has weird looking hands. So what do I do? We go back to normal now? There I am. Okay. Sword sounds cool. All right. Do I want to waste my crystal ammo on these scrub enemies? Not today, enemy. So you can't stab them, apparently. You have to swing at them. But yeah, I'm thinking that this game, if, if it's long enough, can uh, be quite the odyssey. It'd be a lot of fun. I'm liking it the more I go. Is it a duck pig? What am I hearing? Enemies. This must be the farmer's house. Yeah, I see you, brother. You look like Hagrid. Come on. Man.
Oh, crap. What is that? Apparently your shield can only take so much damage. explore the area yet yes people I will get to you I want to rob your village first and sweep 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 all day long I like it because these maps seem like they're pretty big. Like I'm gonna be able to go a while and walk quite a bit in this one. Is that a tar pit? Alright. I gotta remember to start picking things up when they get dropped. So, we've got saplings and trees here. Could it be a puzzle? Come out, people. How do I get them out? seem to want to come out did I did I did I did you did Is this where I'm going after afterwards? Yeah, there's a save point there. But there was like a, one of those gateways over there. What are you dawdaying about? Yeah? So what, the uh, rock is blocking the water, which is making the farmer's crops all nasty? Is that what's up? That is what appears to be the issue here. Tighten up my headband a little bit. Feel like there are things to find here. Like that sword fragment over there. See it over there? I can't get to it from here. 
So let's keep moving on. Save points just everywhere here, huh? Oh yeah? What are you shooting at, guys? Your aim sucks. Those things are stupid, man. Walk into that waterfall? No. All right. So I gotta turn into a rock golem and break up the stone so that the farmer can get water to its craps. Not before I kill all these bad guys. Really? Let's go break this thing. Break in here. I can move around, I see. got another one of these rock things here but I don't know what to use it on Oh, it's timed. What a load. See.
I wanted to uh, make the trees bigger over there, but I guess not. You gotta get there before the farmer dies. <laughs> That's right. Look at the little farmer babies. You dare me? You think I won't do it? Black Moon. You must be here to stop it. You are the chosen one? Of course I'm the chosen one. Hmm, smaller than I expected. Hey man, I paid 30 bucks to be the chosen one, so screw you. Ugh, and naked too. Where are your feathers? I haven't won them yet. So I guess only bird gods here, huh? What do we get? Another feather. Now reach up and grab lightning from the sky and hurl it.
When you're ready to return, step into the portal to return home. Nice. Okay, so I'm definitely going to do that. But I'm going to grab a couple things first. Namely, fire ammo. And I would get the uh, homing ammo over here, but it won't let you stack it. So we had to choose, and I choose fire ammo. All right, now we got to figure out how to get up there and get that... Uh, up there get that sword fragment i guess we gotta walk off the edge again huh i'm digging it this is a cool game i gotta say a lot of potential here and the only only thing that worries me is how long is it I want more than two hours of this, you know? I think it's four to five hours long though, so. So that's good, that's a good length. So we have this rock golem thing up here uh, obviously regenerates so I'm thinking that there's a reason for these being here something I can do or find here or maybe it's just here so I can jack up these enemies I don't know. All right, let's see here. There it is over there. Man, that sounds ominous. Listen to that. That does not sound like water. It sounds like evil. All right, so let's uh, just drop down here and get this sword fragment. And as far as I know, that's all there is to be had here. You can hear it up there. Sounds evil. But we're going to go ahead and head on out of here because I don't think there's anything else for me here. I like those giant mushroom trees. They look like uh, the plant life in Seeking Dawn. Only Seeking Dawn ones look like a thousand times better. Anything over here? Any duck pigs or anything we're missing? All right. Bye-bye, farmer's family. Yeah, you're welcome. I didn't kill your children. You have a good day. Anything out back for me to steal? No? Okay. Take it easy. Later. So getting damage takes away belief. So belief is kind of like your, your life meter as well. <laughs> Welcome to our village, guardian. Many here can help with your journey, exchange the items that you find on your travels. So, okay. So this is where we come to uh, upgrade stuff, trade our fragments in. I was wondering when we were going to get to this. Feel free to explore and meet them. I'll be waiting for you at the temple. All right. So we're going to call it here. When we come back, we're going to explore the village. Looks like it's a village in the clouds. Obviously it's in the mountaintop, but it's cool looking. Anyway, if you've made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. 
And if you like what you see here, click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell. When we return, we're going to meet the villagers in the village and try to find some more crap so we can upgrade our stuff. But until then, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you another day from another game. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.